Good morning. Today is Wednesday, February 28th. I'm glad we're all together today. Um, yesterday we had an unexpected fire alarm that went off around noon and we have practiced fire drills three times a year every school year. Um, yesterday was a real test though. It was not a, just a fire drill. It was an actual alarm that went off and I just want to compliment everybody in the building for the amazing job you did of staying calm even though it made us a little nervous made some of us feel a little scared because we weren't sure what was going on but everyone followed their adults directions and we moved out of the building quickly um, and you did exactly what you're supposed to do and i'm very proud of you and i want to give a special thank you to first grade all of first grade so about 140 of them were in the cafeteria having lunch when the alarm went off and i went back to watch the cameras and um, to just review um, how we exited and how we did um, leaving the building. And all of the first graders did an awesome job of just staying calm. They looked to their adult um, to see what they should do and quickly and quietly exited the cafeteria. Um, that's a lot of students to get out quickly and by staying calm and just following directions, you did exactly what you should do and kept everyone safe. So I wanna give a special shout out to um, to the adults that were working in there, um, Ms. Mallory Bullington, um, Ms. Mariah Fleming, Ms. Mrs. Melissa Cairns, Ms. Micah Taylor, Ms. Sasha Del Castillo, our cafeteria ladies, our high school workers, um, you all did an amazing job, job just staying calm and getting everyone out. And a shout out to our speedy first grade teachers that were in the cafeteria quite quickly um, to check on their students. So. Um, anytime there's anything like that, that we're just not sure what's happening, do exactly what you did yesterday. Stay calm, look to an adult, follow directions. Great job. Um, so for lunch today, hopefully it will be uninterrupted like it was yesterday. Um, we are having pizza, quesadilla, chips and salsa, corn and salad for lunch tomorrow morning. We're having mini bagels for breakfast. Um, it is almost March and we will be starting March Madness, which is our competition, our tournament of books. So we're excited um, for that to start on Friday. Um, it will run all the way through the month of March um, until actually the 21st and we will have a champion um, of books. So be watching um, on, there's a Google form for second and third graders to use to vote. Um, on Book Nook to decide which books move on to the Elite Eight. So um, we have a lot of awesome new, some are very new books that just came out. There's 16 books trying to get first place. So that's gonna be a lot of fun listening to all of those books. And third grade chorus, um, you all did an amazing job with your sing-a-thon yesterday. They sang 20 songs in about 55 minutes and they are doing that as a fundraiser and to go sing uh, the national anthem at Bush Stadium in May. So all of your money is due um, tomorrow, chorus members, great job. And I wanna wish a happy birthday today to um, Sarai Campbell, Gabriel Reynolds, Kylan Rush, and Naomi Strickland. You four have awesome birthdays today. All right, Mr. Clark. Thank you, Mrs. Kessler, and good morning, everyone. And again, kudos to you all, nice job yesterday. Um, like Mrs. Kessler said, the biggest thing in situations like that is to remain calm and it sounds like you all did. Um, so with that being said, go ahead and stand, place your hand over your heart and join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I do have a trivia question for you all today. So <coughs> NASA has said that the soil on Mars might be good for growing what? Okay, so that soil on Mars is different from the soil that we have here on Earth. And what have the scientists at NASA said that it might be good for growing? Also today, February 28th, is National Floral Design Day. I clearly did not get the memo. Mrs. Kessler didn't either, um, but hopefully, some of you did, and we'll see some um, beautiful floral designs on you all today. Have a great day, everyone.